Before beginning the removal process of this ransomware infection, you have to create a safer environment for your computer by booting into safe mode. To do this, press simultaneously Windows button plus the key R on your keyboard. From the pop-up window, type misconfig and click OK. From there, go over to the Boot tab and from the Boot option, click on Safe Boot and under it, select Network. Then apply it and click OK. Then click on Restart to reset your PC. You can revert the setting back to normal by repeating the same procedure but unticking Safe Boot. If you have done this successfully, there should be Safe Mode written on the corners of your screen. Now it is time to clean up any settings and errors in the Windows Registry Editor modified by this ransomware virus. To do that, we are going to use the following script, which you can copy in the description of this video. To use it, we are going to install a program called Windows Resource Kits, also available below. Open the setup, click on Next, accept the agreement, and install it. After the installation is complete, copy the script on a text file and then click on File, Save As Then choose a place to save it, for example on desktop and on the file name type something that you can easily remember, for example fix, and then write a dot bat, B-A-T after the name. To specify the file type, click on the drop-down menu where it says Save as Type and choose All Files. After this, click on Save. After saving the file, copy it to your Windows Drive partition, which would be C colon, Program Files, Windows Resource Kits, Tool. After saving the file, it is time to start it from Windows Command Prompt. To do this, open the Run window again by searching for the letters CMD. When the Command Prompt appears, run it as an administrator. Now in CMD type CD, your drive, program files, Windows resource kits, tools to open it. Then type fix.bat and the script should begin scanning for registry entries. But bear in mind that while this tool fixes registry errors, it may not remove newly added registry values by this virus. For the complete removal, you need the power of an advanced anti-malware program. We have chosen this tool which has the capability of thoroughly scanning and removing all malicious objects related to malware, adware, and other unwanted software. To begin a scan, go to Start New Scan and then click on the Scan Computer Now button. A couple of minutes later, after the scan has been completed, you can eliminate all malicious files that have been detected by clicking on the Fix Threats button. If there is no decryption for this ransomware, we have several alternative suggestions on how to restore your encrypted files. Let's begin. One alternative method is to use data recovery programs to scan your hard drive sectors. There are many data recovery programs out there, and they all work in the same principle. First, scanning your drive sectors for missing files. Then, compiling those missing files to restore them. Another method is to try using a program called Shadow Explorer, which you can download for free online. It looks for any shadow volume copies on your computer if you have set up file history and have enabled it. Usually this option works 100%, but most ransomware viruses tend to delete shadow copies via an administrative command. 
The final method is to take advantage of third-party decryptors. This may be useful if your malware uses the same encryption algorithm and mode like a virus that is decryptable. However, make sure to not test it on the original encrypted files and make copies instead because third-party decryptors may in some scenarios damage the encrypted files permanently. And that's about it. If you found this video useful, give us a like. That may help out other people who have the same ransomware infection on their computer.